Hello and welcome to this uh, eighth edition of our lessons on uh, SolidWorks. Uh, today we're going to look at the bicycle frame. So we just move straight to this uh, uh, geometry. And then uh, this bicycle frame is an important geometry. So we have to do a bit of cleanups and then illustrate some points that uh, are very vital in situations where we're trying to work with uh, an important geometry of this nature. First, let's leave at uh, future recognitions and move straight to working with these models. If you look at the model, you will discover that they are built in as surfaces. All the tubes and the pipes are built as surfaces and there are cross sections where you have gone through um, some of the, uh, the enclosures here. And then, uh, so we have to clean up all that. Um, uh, if we just try to explain this basically a little bit, this is the frame. This is the upper part of the uh, the frame, and lower part of the front plane, upper part of the uh, front plane, and this is the yeah the upper part of the back frame and the lower part of the back frame. Okay, where you have the back tires, and this is where you have the steering, the front tires, and the steering, and this is the seat. And then this is the connection uh, frame to the pedals. So we start cleaning the inside the tubes. So we do that uh, simply by by using um, by using uh, um, by using trim surface trims. So let's see here. Uh, so and I have to state that sometimes uh, trims when you want to trim it must must not necessarily be that you have a sketch you're going to use a trim no you can actually uh, choose uh, um, features like um, cylinders and all that and then uh, they can form the base through which you want to do your trim and that's your as your trim tools so in this case we are going to use these as the trim tools and we are removing this this and then uh, there's one there let's see if it's done or uh, so and then this one here and right away we put them out so that's good that's done there so we, that's the pedaling tube and then we will go to the sitting tool sitting cylinder there okay you can see still so we'll go back still same thing trim use this as a trim tool and remove all this okay. Okay, there. So, so I think that should be pretty good enough. Yeah. Let's see. The two, does it go? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then we go to the front frame here. That is the stereo frame. And then uh, same thing. We say inside surface trim. And then we, oh, okay, that's a mistake there. We choose this as a string tool, and then uh, we we'll remove every other thing that falls in there, except this uh, part of the geometry that uh, ends up aside too. But let's see some height goes. So we'll check inside the tube. Something is still left. Go take it back again and try to get in, snap into that one, and then uh, and we can snap that one from. Yeah, it's this part. So, so that's okay now. All right. So that done, um, we save. And then we're going to trim. Now, well, we can use fillet to do this, but we can't really. Uh, in, a, in the construction of this nature, you can, uh, you can fillet it, but it may not give you the kind of uh, uh, the kind of strength uh, uh, between the the connection pipes and the steering that you need. So we have to rework this particular area to be able to give us the kind of uh, welding features that we want that will make this bicycle an excellent one and a very reliable one so in that case we have a sketch 
uh, same thing here, most of here, but we have this sketch that we'll use and trim there. So we can start with this sketch, uh, which is called the head tube sketch. This is done on the front plane, on the right plane. We can check out the plane, the yeah, right plane. So that right plane divides the, divides the frame into two symmetric parts. So we we'll start with that one, choose it, and then we can go to surface stream again. The choose now, and then uh, and then we we'll choose that we want to remove this, remove this, and remove this. So, and as you can see, we have some fragments here and some fragments here. The interesting thing is that these fragments we have to take it out so we can get a clean geometry and then uh, if we try trim it won't work we can uh, check it out and if we use trim uh, let's say trim and we're choosing here as a trim tool and we are choosing a can so we go add there you see that it suggests that we should use uh, make sure that, okay yeah, so it can go. The best, actually, the, the solution is to use, uh, um, let me see here, uh, body code, or, uh, yeah, that's what it's called, feature, use the um, delete body. With delete body, we should be able to get it right. So, uh, no, that is, we want to keep, uh, let's see, delete bodies, no, okay. This, you know, want to clean this and we want to clean this the lead body works perfectly in this yeah so the geometry is clean now okay all right so we begin to construct the frame uh, the the uh, the connectors of the frame so first our trim when we did our trim here this sketch you can see that we have split this sketch to, so we can be able to have uh, separate uh, like the court is going to be able to divide up our our edges so we can be able to co have connections that connects properly all the edges so which means that these edges are all divided if we go back to the sketch you see that that is simply done by using uh, a command called uh, under a command under sketch to sketch called split entities so you can just like choose your split entities and split whatever you want so let's come out of there so come out of the sketch to this code so all right so we start to build with um, surface loft we can build the first one that is one to surface of this one and this side okay so you check it out that so yeah we can take tangencies and check the directions of a tangency looks pretty good Then we build this face. Let's do that. Lofting. So, build this one. Okay. So, so we can uh, select a little bit. Just select about there, so it gets right now. So, tangencies, tangency. That's pretty good direction. We can actually shift the direction of the tangency by flipping this, but that's supposed to be this way. First, to get the correct shape, then we can build uh, the connection here by inserting loft surface again 
so now we can snap here so oh something selected before them so so then we can build we can add up tangencies so so when I use when I build with the <coughs> surface fill <coughs> surface fill this surface we connect these six surfaces uh, which is edges actually but snapped into surfaces now so we can see there we want um, tangent propagation and then uh, we actually choose to to match the results but it's okay one the tangent there so yeah that's it we could we can mirror this to the to, uh, the path so that there will be symmetry but in this case we choose not to really mirror it so or we can just mirror it so it doesn't matter um the feature we mirror 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 it run the the right plane and this is the feature to mirror oh sorry uh oh uh, uh, sorry should be body So, okay, yeah, but uh, the smoothness of the tangencies can be corrected uh, through making some uh, through making some adjustments or releasing the cuts, uh, shifting the position of the cuts, the trims, trim tools, okay. Uh, then we go on to the next one also this sketch is also done on the front plane and then we say insert trim to trim I want to trim out this part of so and then want to loft it I'm just thinking about this, but you can, we can, we can go back and review that. It's not as smooth as we have, we should have expected that. Uh, surface, surface left. So. Tangency one. And this one there. So, okay. Well, pretty nice and smooth. Uh, better than smooth. So, let's check out if we could make some changes here in the first loft. Uh, the first fist. To see if we can get of those bubbles there um, if we be the faces we just contacts let's see yeah I think that's better we didn't even contact instead of so it gives us a much better smooth surface okay so um 
now we go to another interesting part of this uh, lesson so here we make a cut cutting off these two parts and then rebuilding them so so trim there we are using this as a trim to pass to remove this and this all right and then uh, we equally do some segments in it so we have we can uh, build the body just the same way we did with the other first one uh, by lofting is that surface loft start and end tangencies okay yeah that's in that direction it's okay Okay, then we we now yeah that's for the meantime because we have to now split this body to be able to connect it and then uh, split this body too so because the other splits we have been able to use planar surfaces and they have worked but this split like if we go directly to split this now through a trim let's see what comes out now this is you see so it's not going to be a good trim like if i should approve it so it's not working really the way we want so we are going to use a different method to get this one to work let's see our work so uh we now do this way we are going to project wrap this draw, uh, sketch on this tube so when we wrap it on this tube we'll be able to uh, use face delete to just open exactly the particular place where we want these uh, tubes to connect to this uh, pedal tube the grant that's this one here so we're not insert what's called the uh, a wrap and this wrap feature wrap feature you have it on the boss base and also on surfaces um, yes uh, let me see uh, yes you can well oh, no sorry we, we picked up on under features sir that's a wrap so we can we have a wrap there now we want to wrap this very sketch but we are going to use we want to wrap it around here we are going to use what is called it's not going to be deposing or embossing or deposing we are going to use what is called scribe so uh, then we see whether we have to revise the direction which let me see yeah, no it's correct so okay so so we now get it exactly what we want so we now go back to trim surface trim and we can now use our wrap yes let's see here oh, oh sorry no surface stream that's a mistake we go to um face delete because trim wouldn't work there so 
and the reason why we did this uh, method is because the other ones are planner cuts but this one is not a planner cut so we'll now use surface stream uh, so sorry not surface stream but delete phase and then delete that particular place so now it's absolutely exactly what we want now and the split and the edges are all split the way we want to join it we will uh, be okay with this video and continue with part two to do the rest. Thank you so much.